Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about radiation boosts. What is a boost? Who should get one? How is it given? And what else should you know when you get a radiation therapy boost? I just want to make a comment that this video is being done because of a request from a viewer, which is a reminder that if there's something you'd like to see on our channel, drop us a comment below. So what's a radiation therapy boost or a boost? I'll just call it that for the rest of the video. A boost is an extra dose of radiation therapy that is given to the area specifically where the tumor was. So the tumor is removed from something we call the tumor bed. That's the area where the tumor lay. And in people who've had a lumpectomy or breast conserving surgery, they're the same thing. We will often give a boost in the area where the tumor itself lay. Just a higher dose, these are additional treatments or fractions that are given after whole breast radiation therapy is done. I'll describe it more in just a moment. What if you get a mastectomy and the whole breast is removed, should people get a boost? We do often recommend a boost be given because a boost, no matter what type of surgery you have, has been shown to decrease the risk of the cancer coming back in the breast. So a few extra treatments to decrease the risk of the cancer coming back right where it started. So after breast conserving surgery and after a mastectomy, people might be advised to have a boost. The other group of people who might be offered a boost are people who had lymph nodes removed from the armpit, the axilla, but not all the lymph nodes were removed. So what I mean by that is there, there might be a sentinel node that's positive, but there isn't a completion lymph node dissection done. All the rest of the nodes in the level one and level two anatomic regions are not removed. And that can be for a variety of reasons that I'm not gonna go into here, but giving a boost to the armpit can be a way to decrease the risk of the cancer coming back in the armpit. So how is a boost given? A boost is generally given between four and eight additional treatments, depending on the tumor characteristics and depending on the type of radiation therapy. Radiation is given in several different forms. We can use the regular external beam radiation that we're used to talking about, electrons or protons. Your medical team will help you decide and they'll make a recommendation to you and explain why they're doing that. So it's an extra four to eight doses. Yes, it's an extra four to eight days of radiation therapy, but it's not a surprise. A boost will be part of what's described when you see the radiation oncologist. So when they say you're going to get this many treatments with radiation, they're including the boost in that. They don't add it on as a surprise later unless additional data comes back, but it's pretty uncommon. You'll know that a boost is part of your treatment plan. What should you expect? Well, because it's not the whole breast or the whole chest wall area, it's a much smaller area, the other parts of the skin will start to heal. The boost, of course, will take longer to heal because it's getting additional radiation therapy. So you may notice that the area of the boost takes longer to heal, which makes sense because it's start time to heal is a little later, you know, four to eight days later, and because it's a higher dose. So that area may be more darker for longer. It may be more tender for longer. That's normal and it will definitely heal. You'll want to work with your medical team if you're having additional side effects like pain or moisture at the area of the boost, just like during ready, regular radiation therapy. What about a boost if you get hyperfractionated radiation therapy where you're getting it twice a day for a shorter period? We actually don't know the best way to give a boost to folks who have radiation given over a shorter period twice a day. So you'll work with your medical team and they'll give you the best recommendation based on the evidence that they have at that moment. So how should you handle the side effects? Just stay in touch with your medical team just like you did. When you get your treatment summary, 
the treatment summary will describe the main radiation therapy and the boost as well. So you'll see different doses given. You'll see the total dose, and then you'll see the tumor, the extra dose. Radiation oncologists always generate a treatment summary that you will have access to that tells the fields that were radiated, that is the area, and the dose that you'll got, get. So I'm hoping this is helpful, whether you're about to start radiation therapy, you're about to embark upon the boost, or um, whether you're wondering what to expect during it. Are there people who don't need a boost? Well, in general, everybody, no matter their age or their tumor size, benefits from the boost, but the extent of benefit is lower in people with lower risk tumors. So the types of things we look at are age, People who are under the age of 50 tend to benefit more than older people from a boost. And people with a higher grade tumor, uh, meaning grade three rather than grade one or two, tend to benefit more. But the, again, there's really nobody where there's been no benefit. It's just the extent of benefit is lower. So do you have to have a boost? No. And your medical team will explain why a boost is being recommended in your case. If this has been helpful, click like and subscribe. If you have other questions, drop them in the comments below. We're really quick about getting back, depending on what day they come in. And you can follow us on Instagram. And as always, visit yerba.com for your personalized report.